the language is alien to you, what will you do with books? So when I was 14, I was teaching girls from a nearby slum called Kusum Pahari. I used to teach them maths through Lego blocks and English through Pictionary and translating their favorite movies from Hindi into English. But when the pandemic struck, they couldn't come to me for education. So I realized that I needed to take education to them. And that got me thinking. When I was younger, I remember persuading my mother to read stories out aloud to me. And I thought, hey, why shouldn't I convert these stories that children are learning today to narrate it to them? And that's how the idea of creating an audio-visual karaoke style learning uh, came to me. And this would especially be useful for children who don't have English as their primary language. You will laugh when I tell you why he was not. He was unhappy because he was very small. So that was how Read Together was born. It is now a platform that provides children of classes 1 to 5 with their NCRT English syllabus in the form of 70 chapters in an audiovisual format. My biggest obstacle was definitely that many of my intended students lacked the means to access my program. So I took a crowdfunding initiative to provide tablets to those children with internet connections. So then there was the platform itself. Things such as the pace of narration and deciding which illustrations should go on took a lot of hits and misses. It took me more than three months just to develop the content. This year, I was able to convince five other schools and two NGOs to adopt Read Together as well. And more than 1,500 kids are now using Read Together across Delhi and Jharkhand. And I want more and more of us to be able to read together.